Hi, Cancer. Welcome back to my channel, Unique Tarot. This is your next 48, July 14th to the 15th. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up. If you'd like a personal reading, how you can purchase one will be down in the description box. So this is for Cancer. All right, July 14th to the 15th for Cancerian. Let's see what the messages are. For my Cancers, please, Spirit. Cancers, July 14th to the 15th for Cancer. What is the messages for Cancer, please? All right, we have Child. This card keep coming out. Child, what else? Uh, message of Concern. Two more for Cancer, July 14th to the 15th. Privileged lady. Um, concern. So we have message of concern, concern, privileged lady, and child. So somebody here could be worried about a child. Yeah, the lovers. All right. Gemini energy and message. The house. Somebody's received sudden wealth and poverty. Wow. And change. So somebody could be losing a house or they're getting information about a house. Or if somebody was losing a home, they may come into some money here that saves them for that, from that or whatever. For some of you, I don't know why I'm getting this message, but there's an older woman here, more established and privileged. And then there could be a younger person here. This person could be 18 years of age or, or between 18 and 22 years old. All right. There's two cards of concern here. So this privileged lady is concerned. This could be you, Cancer, or somebody you're dealing with about a child. But we're going to clarify this, 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 these cards for Cancer. All right. July 14th to 15th, please, for Cancerian. I feel like somebody's in love with somebody else. That could be, that could be also. What's the messages here? Spirit guides in the universe for Cancer, July 14th to the 15th for Cancerian, please. All right. What's this child card for Cancer? What is the child card, July 14th to the 15th for Cancer? What is this child card? All right, man. What is this? Is this deck in reverse? Yes. Okay. It is. So, yeah, six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So, we have the sun and the five of cups. So, it's like you were happy and now you're disappointed. There was some mess, some kind of information you received here from a child or about a child here. Or you miss a child, Cancer. Or you're reminiscing about the times you had with your children. Or you're looking back on, yeah, somebody could be blocking you or, or restricting you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There, there's a missed opportunity here. Somebody was rejected for something in the past. Yeah, this Father Aries energy. We have the lovers again, and the lovers is right there. So let's keep going. What is this child card? Oh my gosh, y'all. Be too many fucking cards. What is this child card? What's the sun card for cancers? What is the sun card? You could be dealing with a Leo. All right, doesn't have to be. We have the Knight of Cups. So there's someone that misses you. They're women because the child card also reminds me of the Six of Cups. So there could be somebody that's just really reminiscing and missing you here. Missing the, how happy you make them by the time that you had. Somebody wants to offer their love here with the Knight of Cups. If somebody's been cold or standoffish, they now want to come forward. Yeah, we have Three of Swords and Justice here with the Knight of Swords. So there could have been some harsh words or coldness. You could definitely be dealing with an air sign or a Libra. All right. With the, with the Three of Swords and a Justice, this could be a Gemini as well or an Aquarius. But I'm hearing Libra. There's a disappointment here. Somebody wants to apologize. Yeah, there's something definitely concerning kids because we have the page of pentacles and page of cups here. Maybe a relationship. What's the night? What's the five of cups for cancer? Yeah, the four of swords. 
really contemplate yeah nine of swords really losing sleep here contemplating over here maybe you're wondering if somebody if the knight of cups could be an offering what is this knight of cups having no this is the king of cups not the knight of cups i'm sorry this could be you cancer you're in love or you're happy here or you thought you were you're disappointed or maybe you're reminiscing about the past when you were happier okay but you're worried nine of swords um and Ten of Cups about your happiness or your family, or you're, you're just stuck in your thoughts about. <clears throat> okay. What is this? What's the King of Cups for Cancer? What's the King of Cups for Cancer? July 14th to the 15th for Cancer. The Three of Pentacles. So you're in love with your work, or you love your work, or. Maybe you're in love with somebody at work. What's the Three of Pentacles? And you have the Death and the Nine of Wands. What's the Three of Pentacles here? Maybe you thought things were going great and then it's just like... Uh, what is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Tower. Something is being revealed or something is... Um, You have the Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. So I feel like there's a tower, there's something being revealed here, or somebody's just losing sleep, or they wake up out of their sleep worried or depressed or sad, wondering what's going on or what's being hidden. Yeah, there's going to Five of Wands, there's going to be some kind of argument about work or about money. Or if somebody's really doing what they say they're doing or something like this. Somebody could be making an offer to somebody at work. Or what's the Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles? What's the Knight of Cups in the Three of Pentacles? Knight of Cups, Three of Pentacles. One for the Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, the Four of Wands. Some of you could be working on your home here as well. Maybe you're into demolition. Maybe you destroyed a home and you're rebuilding it from the ground up. Or some of you could just be building a home here. A really nice home as well. Yeah, but for others of you, I feel like there's somebody that wants to be yeah, Page Cups. There's somebody younger here or somebody wants to be in a relationship or they're offering a relationship here. This could come out of the blue. This may be someone you're not even in communication with at this time that, that misses you. They find you to be their happiness. They, they're very nostalgic about you. They think about how innocent and playful and fun the relationship was with you. And I feel like somebody's coming in to offer you a relationship here. Yeah, and to apologize because the Knight of Cups and Page of Cups can be an apology. I mean, the King of Cups. I keep calling that the Knight of Cups. I don't know why. Yeah, what's the, all right, what is this message of concern for cancer, July 14th to the 15th message of concern for cancer? We have uh, the deck, the six of wands in reverse. So this is something that uh, the six of wands can be somebody that's not victorious, or this could be like, because the six of wands upright is the yes card of the zodiac. Any question you ask, it's a yes. But in the reverse, that can mean a no, or maybe you, you know. Yeah, the king of swords. What's this message of concern? Six of wands in reverse. What is this? Yeah, two of pentacles. And the emperor here, Aries energy. This could be a father, a business owner, or a leader, or whatever. A husband. What is this? Yeah, six of pentacles. So there's some uh, passive income here. Two of pentacles, six of pentacles here. Maybe you're receiving some uh, 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 a message of concern regarding. Uh... All right, let's see. Yeah, or somebody could be, or maybe some money is being held up here. We have the five of wands in reverse. So 
So if something's been held up or hit, what's the Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands in reverse? Yeah, the Empress of Libra. So there could have been some, there could be some like oh, back and forth ongoing. Uh, what's the Empress? Yeah, it's Libra energy. This could be a baby mother or somebody that's pregnant or 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 mistress or whatever. Yeah. So with the Knight of Cups here, the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody could be very financially well off here. All right, a business owner, somebody could, yeah, definitely work from home here. Somebody wants to make an apology or, or, or make an offer towards this person or move towards this person. This could be you, Cancer, or this could be the person that you're dealing with. I feel like somebody's juggling here, all right? And I really feel like somebody found that out and it may be really bothering them or they found out that somebody could be giving money to somebody or there's gonna be arguments or conflict here around somebody giving someone money or it could be somebody online or whatever that somebody's talking to. Yeah, Six of Cups. I feel like this is someone from someone's past that they're still dealing with. This could be somebody that's young. All right. What is the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles? The Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the Six of Swords. Moving on. I feel like somebody's deciding to do what's best for them and move forward in the situation here. All right. This could be the, with someone new with the Knight of Cups. I feel like somebody's falling in love here with someone new. They want a relationship with someone new here. What is the privileged lady called for cancer? What is this privileged lady? What is this privileged lady card? With the privileged lady and queen of pentacles and the empress, somebody's very well off financially. A business owner, or they work from home, or maybe they don't have to work because they get pa passive income of some sort. All right. Privileged lady, what is that card for Cancerian? What is this privileged lady? This privileged lady. What is this privileged lady? Yeah, we have the um we have the magician, the justice, Libra again, Libra again, three of swords, knight of swords. So there's gonna be a breakup or a separation. This could be a divorce for some people. But somebody's manifesting this. Somebody wants to move on. Maybe to somebody. There's definitely somebody that's a business owner here. Very single. Very independent. Very beautiful. Very attractive with the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. All right. Doing very well from the, for themselves. They get patronized. This is something someone does online. Maybe someone has a high following. But somebody here is getting money. It could be a Libra. All right. With this Libra card here. There could be a lot of jealous people here, or a lot of naysayers, or, or or bad feedback with the five of wands. But the five of wands is nameless, faceless people that don't fucking matter. This person is up on the throne. This these people don't matter. This person is. So this person has a high following. This person is a business only. They're patronized. They make money or good money with with whatever they do here. But I feel like someone really misses somebody here with the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups and they want to go back. So this could be someone from their past or just someone that someone's very nostalgic about. I feel like somebody wants to make an offer here or date someone or take them out. This definitely could be, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's doing very well. Nine, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Swords again, Libra energy. And then we have the King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So somebody's doing very well in their business. Very, very well for themselves. Like things are turning out beautifully here for someone. If someone's going through a heartbreak or a breakup or or a divorce, things are going to turn out wonderfully for you. Somebody's business is going to take. I'm hearing overnight success. Somebody's taking off, just period. And somebody else's ass is being left behind. I feel like there is a business owner, or somebody very financially well off here, that is um that is a uh, just doing that's very fit very beautiful doing very well for themselves okay 
This is a very, yeah, this privileged lady. Somebody is good, beautiful home. They dress well. Okay, they, yeah, Ace of Wands. Something new. This could be with a fire sign. Somebody is very, very attracted. Yeah, what's concerned? Somebody's concerned about this, about someone being attracted to someone else is what I feel like. Somebody's concerned about that. Yeah. Definitely. This could be someone online or, or, or something or wanting to take into what's the Ace of Cups? I mean, Ace of Wands. Yeah, the star and the eight of pentacles. So somebody could also be in the public eye with the six of wands and the star. Highly influential. They could be a healer. They do this for work. This is what they do for their work. They're a star. They're an up and rising star. But somebody is very attracted to this person. It could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, definitely a Libra here. Okay, I'm hearing Cappy, Capricorn, a Leo. All right. Or cancer, or you cancer. But yeah, there's somebody, okay. Yeah, somebody could speak for a living, very intel intelligent. What's the star card with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands? Yeah, I feel like with the Lover's card, there's a new love here. Yeah, and you're gonna somebody's going to be receiving a message also about a home that they may be very happy about. Yeah, sudden wealth. Or some kind of message about some sudden wealth or problem. So, yeah, we're going from poverty to sudden wealth. So, if you were hurting or anything like that or worried about your home or paying your bills, there could be some money that came in here or that's coming in here. What is this Ace of, Ace of Wands with the star? I feel like somebody's very worried about someone. Ace of Wands with the star. Somebody's very sexually attracted to someone's body. They want to see their naked body or they like someone's naked body. Like, just seeing them turns them on. Somebody can have nice boobs or they like their curves or whatever. Because she has nice boobs on here. Right? Yeah. So somebody's very attracted to someone's naked body. I feel like somebody gets naked or or they dance for somebody naked or they send naked pics and somebody's just examining. Like they look over them pics like what the fuck are they looking at somebody's pics every day what is this star card with the ace of wands star card with the ace of wands so there's going to be an argument about something here yeah the wheel of fortune something is shifting something is meant to be with the star and the wheel of fortune two people all right i feel like nine of wands yeah the high priestess somebody could be a psychic or in the public eye as a psychic or something yeah, very, very intelligent or highly intuitive with the King of Swords and the uh, very professional with what they do here. I don't know why I'm here on YouTube, but there's somebody here. Um, what's the, what is this? Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody feels defeated or tired or they're tired of waiting or they want to, yeah, the harmony. I feel like somebody... The Hermit and the Nine of Wands want to go. I feel like somebody wants to give up. They're depressed or they're not happy. Or they, they want to move towards someone new here. What's the Nine of Wands and the Hermit? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Somebody's really holding back here. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Holding back from communicating, yeah, judgment. There's going to be some community. Somebody's holding on to someone. Yeah, there's going to be, what's the judgment with the Eight of Wands? Oh, my God, y'all. <sighs> okay. What's the judgment with the Eight of Wands? Yeah. Oh. The Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles. So, yeah. If there's someone you haven't been communicating with or that's been indifferent here about a situation, just expect communication. This person is going to call you or send you an email or, or something. But somebody wants to give to you or provide for you. This could be a married couple and there's a mistress somewhere. Yeah, King of Wands. Somebody's definitely taking action here. There could be something that's ending with the water sign. What's the Ace of Wands up there? Give me one on the Ace of Wands. So I feel like there is going to be 
uh, what's the Ace of Wands? Yeah, there's something hidden here. Somebody's really worried. Nine of Swords, Moon, and Page of Wands about this other person or this younger fire sign. Or that somebody could wear a lot of red. Because I just keep seeing red. Or red hair or just red clothes or red something. Or they're just very passionate. Yeah, higher font. I feel like somebody is, uh, yeah, two of cups. I feel like somebody wants to make an offer here to someone else. So it definitely could be someone online that they're talking to with somebody at a distance here. Yeah, death fell out. So something is definitely over. Who is this page? Yeah, the emperor and the, the lovers. So this could be a father or somebody could be married or just in a higher level of commitment here. But there's somebody else here that I feel somebody's very attracted to. What is this page of wands? Who is this page of wands? Very, very much attracted to. Yeah, this, that's what I'm saying. Six of cups, nine of cups. Somebody from someone's past that they find to be emotionally fulfillment. This could be somebody younger. I'm just getting a young energy here. There's an older, privileged, established uh, woman that's good off, that's well off financially, beautiful home or bills are paid or passive income or whatever. And then there's somebody younger, fiery, fun, or if, even if they're not younger, they're just beautiful. They could also um, be good financially as well. But somebody here is, yeah... Somebody's definitely, yeah, this emperor, this father, or this business owner, or this leader. Somebody's doing well financially. Some of you could have an option between a king of pentacles and an emperor or, or somebody. Yeah, a king of swords is here too, so there's options. And this could also be a man that has options, so it could go either way. But yeah, here's this, this fire sign. All right, with red hair. That's what I said. I knew somebody's red. They could be fair complected. This could be somebody that's Mexican or, or, or Puerto Rican, but doesn't have to be. They could just be very fair-skinned, very attractive. And somebody is watching or somebody is, uh, yeah, dating, going out to have drinks with or whatever. So there may be some arguing, arguments about that, but there is love here, Knight of Cups. There, there's somebody... Uh, I just really get an energy of somebody just kind of doing them. They're holding a lot of, somebody is losing sleep. Moon and the Nine of Swords really concerned with the, some concern card and then message of concern, something they heard or something they're hearing, all right? They're really concerned about a situation here and they're really wanting answers and you may get that, but I do feel like with the lovers here and the lovers here, somebody's deeply in love with somebody, all right? And they may be going towards this person or, or secretly giving this person things or seeing this person or whatever. All right. So those are your messages, Cancer. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Bye.